How's it going, everyone? My name is Reloading64, and welcome back to the Unknown Developer Series. Now, as you can see, I have this all set up. Um, I've been actually waiting, and kind of, I've been busy, obviously, uh, so I haven't had time to actually like research all the information that I have. But it seems like the Unknown Developer is not finished whatsoever, at least not completely, because... A couple of things have surfaced ever since uh, the last video, and I've just been busy doing my own thing as well as trying to figure uh, things out from the story. But I haven't been putting any focus, that much focus on it because I've been busy. Anyways, as you can see, the unknown developer is back to nothing. There is nothing new here, maybe. Uh, but here's the thing there's the unknown box, and as you can see, everything looks the same, but look at look down here and as you can see updated March uh, May 17th 2017 so the unknown developer decided to update all the pages and if you look at all the pages you'll notice that there's this little thing right here then it, it you'll notice that it's in every single page as you can see it says R I used copy and paste so that's an R, and I've already, someone has already told me that in all of them, all the 18 letters, it all spells out, the storks are coming. So, and I just also wanted to, sh and I just want to tell you that the painful box has been updated. So, we're going to go into that as the last thing in this video, but first I want to show you a couple of other things. As you can see, the unknown developer has not changed anything other than something here, a description of East Florida. And I've already gone through it, and as you can see, it takes you to a video. Description of East Florida. Now, bef- ah, Stop it! Before I play it, I want to show you that it does take you to something called the get the green version here and then it takes you to the developers itch.io page as you can see it takes you to a version on itch.io that isn't listed on the game developers um page but it is under soundtracks in itch.io so makes me wonder what the unknown developer is doing why is he putting things somewhere else now unless you can't put soundtracks on your main thing on your main page i don't know but yeah so then i went on to the unknown developers actual page and there's this image which doesn't look too familiar but i'm pretty sure it's gonna mean something so just keep in mind the image of this because the unknown developer does not just use Im random images for nothing so this has to mean something uh but yes and as you can see the unknown developer only has one video and 11 subscribers god damn it let's see nope see that is it only one video i also looked at this image doesn't seem like there's nothing to it, just uh, space and the entire world. Also, what looks like, um, what is it called? The Pillars of Creation, I think. Yeah, as you can see, it, it looks like the Pillars of Creation to me, at least. As you can see here and here in the background, it's very faint. Because it doesn't just show the ocean and everything else. But yes, with that being said, let's go to the video. And I'm only going to show you the first couple of like the first couple of seconds on it but listen carefully Do you hear that? But yes, the whole video is just like this where you hear that little tone right under it saying, which is basically Morse code. Uh, not, well, it is Morse code. So, as you can see, the whole video, it just consists of that. It just constantly shows the planet. And you can easily check the link, uh, the video yourself. You can actually watch the whole thing. As you can see, it's 18 minutes and 30 seconds. The weird thing about this is that as the video plays, it, it just shows the earth with lights on it. With the lights on it, obviously. And the sun, it 
rotating, revolving around the sun and obviously rotating at the same time. So you constantly see the earth moving as you see that. Uh, you guys can check the video out yourselves, obviously, but I want I just want to point out how there looks like there's radio waves around it. And then just this whole thing of showing the stars kind of like that. If anything, if anything, this kind of, for some reason, the whole thought of slow the tide kind of points this out to me. Uh, this whole time, a lot of people, myself included, have thought that it had to do with the ocean, but maybe it has to do a lot with radio waves or something like that. I don't know. At this point of the, my freaking videos, I just sound like a conspiracy theorist. But a lot of people are just going around this. Just a ton of Morse code. It's just all Morse code throughout the whole thing. So, uh, why don't you guys get on it and tell me what it says. Just kidding. Before I go into that and tell you what it is, I want to show you something. You remember the G.O.D. song? Well, I actually went back into it under Adobe Sound Booth because I went under Adobe Sound Booth with the other audio, with the other audio that I just, it just, bleh, that I just showed you. I didn't find anything here other than one thing. Check this out. Oh, Mr. Unknown Developer. Oh, how you foo foo. I actually had an idea for my game to do something similar to that because I actually learned how to t put images in an audio file. So it's just hilarious to see this. Uh, but yeah, that's why you hear it kind of weird. Go. Anyways. So, with that being said, Mr. Unknown Developer, you're going down. <laughs> Anyways, but yeah, that's the only thing I found in this one. After getting that piece of audio where you just saw the earth rotating, I decided to clean it up because I'll, um, I used Sound Booth to clean it up because there's no way in heck that I can really make it out. And I this is what I mean that I tried to do it with the G.O.D. song, which I didn't find anything other than the Unknown Developer uh developer's name in it but here is as best as i could do it clean it up you're welcome no, i'm kidding uh but yes so this is basically 18 minutes and well around 18 minutes of just audio of the entire of the entire video doing morse code and seeing that i'm i wasn't gonna uh, waste my time actually f writing everything down I looked up online to see if there's something that listens to Morse code and translate it for me thank you internet <laughs> just so, it's just so you guys know I basically spent like an hour and a half to two hours setting all this up even though this video is going to be like 15 minutes or 20 minutes I don't know maybe 15 now as you can see the entire song puts out this story and this, uh, like I said, I found a software that actually reads it for me. So I'll read it out loud and then you guys can just hit pause and read it yourself. Maybe you guys can get something out of it. A young woman named Melissa went 10 times inside of one year up to the house. On her first visit, she found a tit, which she brought down. On her second visit, she found a booby. On her third visit, a bluebird, then an owl, and a horse. After his sixth visit... That kind of sounds odd, saying after his, not her. That's what the software uh, picked up. So it's I'm pretty sure it's meant his because E and R is way different from I and S. After his sixth visit, she brought a stork. But when she had gone up the 18th time, she did not return again. Her mother and her father mourned, her for, mourned for her. Finally, they fell asleep. Her mother thought... Then in her dream, she saw a painful house, but on awakening, she recognized that she, what she believed to have been a dream was real. The house was nearby, and her daughter, Melissa, was sitting in front of it. She awakened her husband that he might see her. They jumped up and ran towards the house, but it disappeared from their sight, and finally they saw that it was in reality a box. Then they sat down and cried, singing, Our daughter is in the box, playing with, playing with the moon. Never will she return to us. When they were thus singing, the doctor passed by them, and they told him that they had seen Melissa playing in front of the moon's house. The doctor said 
Let us make her appear in our dances. The parents of the girl agreed and let the doctor perform. The Melissa dance, they gave it her name. Then they forgot why they had gone all the way toward the box. The doctor felt dizzy. All of a sudden, he saw a pretty woman sitting on a stone. Her face was like that of a stork. She said, Jake, what are you doing here? Now the doctor turned his head and spoke, Thank you, Jake, that you came so that I could see you. I am the one who thunders from the one end to the other end of the asylum. The woman replied, Oh, master, I came here for your sake. Now give me a deadly treasure. Then the man spoke, Make a house and invite all your inmates. He, show he showed him the engraving of the Thunderbird with two spread legs. They say it was as long as a forefinger. The man spoke its l The man spoke its legs are the door of the house. This is my ornament of white acacia blossoms around its head. The head on it were given by given to me by my father that I should eat them. This image of a man you shall place in the rear of your house. It is the image of my father. I have no idea what that means. Maybe you guys can make some sense out of it, but it uh, the only thing I picked up out of it is it seems like the old lady is probably the mother of Melissa. I thought that Dr. Royston, because it seems like that Dr. Royston just walks up on them, but I think Dr. Royston might be, I think Dr. Royston might just be maybe Melissa's, no, I was going to say her husband because Dr. Royston does still have the same last name as Melissa. Huh. Or is Jake the doctor that he walks up to them? Because it doesn't say Dr. Royston. It just says the doctor. And she does. There is that one part where she says, Jake, what are you doing here in another game? And she said, the doctor is here. And then instead she says that, oh, you're the doctor. So maybe Jake is the doctor. It is the image of my father. Wait. Maybe Jake is Dr. Royston's, uh, what if Jake is Dr. Royston's, uh, son? No, father. Yeah, no, son. So Jake could be Dr. Royston's son, and Jake could have married Melissa, which would still give Melissa, uh, the same last name as Royston. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I, I, I have the actual thing here. That way you guys don't have to spend freaking hours trying to figure out what the Morse code says. And to the unknown developer, HA! No, <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, but yeah, I don't know what that green version is. Because I didn't get, I didn't buy it through there. Which I know is kind of messed up. But I do intend on giving the unknown developer some money after all this is done and over with. And I've actually finally uh, am in a position to give money. But because... To the unknown developer, if you if you are watching this, um, and if anything, I just want to say thank you because your series, your games have pretty much made people aware of me. So, and if anything, I really admire what you've done uh, because I I'm also an independent developer, and it, it's just so awesome to see how much work you've put in your games. And how, this whole mystery. And it's just really admirable. And I really enjoy it. Uh, that's why, like I said, I'm going to... Once I have, am able to, I will put money for all the games that I've played for you. Because I do believe that it's worth money. And to anyone who actually has pl downloaded these games and played them, I do, if you don't, you should at least pay the minimum. I, I'm going to be honest that I haven't paid them. But I will pay... Uh, once I am very at a place where I can, because I don't want to give the minimum to the unknown developers games, because these games have basically given me a lot more, uh, than just simple, uh, couple second games and stuff. Uh, if anything, I feel like these games could be a full version game. And I feel like this, the whole mystery behind this could be worth more than a triple a title that's in my uh, in my uh, opinion so if the unknown developer is watching 
you know, just thank you. And I really admire what you're doing. And if anything, it just makes pushes me to want to become a better independent developer. So yes, let's go to the un to the painful box then. All right, we're finally back into the painful box, and I have no idea what to do, but we'll see. I, I have an idea of what to well, well, I have an idea of what to do because I have looked up things here and there. I think there might still be a combination, but I'm not sure. But for now, I think there is just an ending, which is why the unknown developer uh, updated this game. So let's just go. Sometimes you gotta pretend everything is okay. What was that? I was just opening boxes and it just did that. Hmm. Maybe I have to do something in that area. Okay. I don't know what else to do, guys. I basically have gone into what is called the white room. Um, it could be something that I have to type in something. Just like in the other one was Sebastos, which I tried. I tried Mosaic as well, and nothing happened. Um, actually, hold on. I'm going to try something. All right. Yeah. All right, guys. Yeah, I tried Cake, B, Stork, Omen, Moon, um, Die, Death. Uh, I've tried all uh, different things. I don't know. Hold on. I'm going to try one more thing. Alright, yeah, guys. I, I've tried a lot of different combinations. I've even gone over here and tried to put uh, just a def bunch of different words. I can't remember exactly which ones. I do know that Melissa was one of them. Jake, B, uh, Horse, um, Stork, Tit, Booby, Death. So there could still be a combination to it, and there could also be a word that we need to use in the white room, because it's timed. It doesn't let you. It, it only keeps you in that room for a certain amount of time, and then you it kicks you out, and then you do this again. Uh, but yeah, that is pretty much what the updated version does. Because in the past one, you could open as many boxes as you could, and it didn't do anything. You're once you open a certain amount of boxes, I think it's like. 20 or 26 um once you open a certain amount of boxes uh or was it takes you to that room and then after a couple of seconds it takes you back out so i don't know what to do in this situation uh maybe you guys can give me some help with this especially with what i showed you and just what the unknown developer has basically been up to so that's pretty much it for this video. It was, pretty, it was pretty interesting seeing what the unknown developer has been doing. And he's still... I don't think the unknown developer is going to add any more um, games. If anything, a lot of people have been saying that the develop, unknown developer is going to start updating the games. And there's going to be more information in the games. Which is going to suck. <laughs> but, um, but yeah. Uh, it also seems like the unknown developer is still could still add other things just like they did on the youtube video uh so we'll see what happens in the future but other than that i'm pretty much done with this video so thank you everybody so much for watching if you like this video hack that like button while you're at it hack that subscribe button for more videos why don't you <coughs> hit that bell to be notified about future videos as well comment down below and let me know what you think or what your theories are or if this kind of showed anything to you guys uh and maybe it can help me out Maybe we got to do something in the white room. Maybe not. I don't know. But we will see in uh, what the unknown developer decides to put out there next. So thank you. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.